Pipes, pipes, pipes. Straight off the bat, I'm gonna press numpad seven to go into top view. Shift A, let's add in a mesh, add in a cylinder, tab into edit mode, rotate with R, X, 90 degrees. Now, the way the spin tool works is it spins off the 3D cursor. So if I go shift right click, and come over here and select the spin tool, you can see now we've got this widget. However, if I were to spin now, we get kerfuffle. So let's go control Z on that one. I just wanna select this edge here. Press the plus sign, rotate, hold control to snap the angles. E to extrude. There we go, look at that jazz. Shift right click, hold control, go like so. E to extrude, shift right click, hold control. And you can see how we're quickly making pipes. Now this is the one way. However, the second way. We can go Shift A, add in a curve, go Bezier, tab into edit mode, and we can see that we've got now all this stuff. So we can just go about laying out a Bezier curve. Now the one thing we can do as well, is you can see at the moment it's kind of sitting on top. However, I kind of want this cable to be wrapping around this pipe so if i were to come up to here where we go snap i want to snap to face i want the center and a line rotation to target so now if i go g to move hold control it'll snap to the face now obviously it's snapped complete wrong way scale minus one and that'll flip it around and then from here i can go hold control and if we have a look it's spinning the other way not sure why Maybe if we go rotate, will it fix that up? Sure does. And then E to extrude, hold control. And so you can see how we've got this Bezier curve sitting here. Now we can click on this, the data properties for the Bezier. We can go into geometry and come down into depth. Let's increase that depth. Now we've just got a simple task of maybe we can just move it up a little bit and then we can manually line these up because they were snapping to that pivot point, but obviously this cable is a little bit thicker than what it actually is. The third option for pipage. So the other way we can do stuff is we have to go back into the Bezier, and then we can click on this little draw button. Come over here into the options, Bezier, come down into depth and select surface. Offset, might make it a little bit off the surface. And then I can click and draw our pipe. And now it's sitting off the actual pipe surface because of the offset. How freaking sick is that? A nice, simple way for creating amazing pipes quickly. Love it. Subscribe.